so hello guys here we have question number 17 from build up your understanding exercise of the chapter electrostatics so uh, let's first look at the question two parallel equilateral triangular plates are placed overlapping each other very close to each other the plates carry uniformly distributed unlike charges of equal moduli deep inside the region between the plates electric field is uniform but near the edges it becomes non uniform if modulus of electric field deep inside the plates is e not find the modulus of electric field at the midpoint of line ab what happens if the plates have the shape of a regular pentagon so uh, if you want to try it yourself uh, you can do it now so uh, if you want the hint here it is uh, try dividing it into triangles similar to the original one so if you want to try give it a try again uh, you should do it now so uh, now let's look at the solution and uh, so uh, so now as i said in the end we should try considering the uh, trying breaking the electric field into components due to similar shape now uh, we can consider the electric field at the center to be due to the six parts as shown in the figure and observe that the red triangle won't contribute to the electric field and would be negligible uh, so what i'm saying here is that we need uh, to we have been given the electric field at this point which is the central point of the triangular plate and uh, as th uh, the distance between the plates is very small these can be considered as infinitely large around that small point uh, for the electric field at that point and as uh, these three plates are just a combination of plus and minus charges and just like an capacitor their electric field would be uh, neglig negligible at these points uh, as the distance between them is uh, very uh, less as uh, and as remember it's a combination of a uh, positive and negative layer and the distance between them is almost negligible so that's what i've said here so its electric field can be considered zero in all the regions except the part between the layers so this implies that the contribution of each small triangle should be uh, one six as there are six triangles and each uh, each are symmetric so uh, its contribution would be one six and it will be e not by 6 as the electric field is e not and this is the electric field at the midpoint of the corner of the plate which was asked originally and uh, uh, if we see closely this is the same uh, plate equivalent to the same electric tri uh, equilateral triangular plate and we have been asked the electric field at the uh, corner at the midpoint of the or two plates so uh, this is giving us the same thing so basically the answer of the first part is simply e equals to e naught by 6 now uh, if you consider a uh, pentagonal plates now so now this seems very similar to the case as the first and we if we try using the same method uh, uh, here apparently we will soon run into trouble as we want to be able to cover the whole 360 degrees without overlapping two or more layers over each other so basically what i'm saying here is that the angle of the uh, apex at a, in a pentagon is 108 degrees and 108 degrees isn't a divisor of 360 so basically uh, we won't be able to cover it with integral number of pentagonal, pentagonal plates so they will have to overlap somehow so uh, we, we can get stuck here but there are uh, two ways to tackle it um, and though, although both of them are uh, pretty much the, based on the same uh, idea so let's see, look at the first way brute force so here uh, we can consider the reason in the center as follows i mean like here we have decided uh, divided the uh, central uh, 360 degrees into uh, this way that we take two pentagonal plates uh, equivalent pentagonal plates and the re uh, the rest of the area we divided into two isosceles triangles of apex angle 72 degrees so now uh, it's that we are just lucky in this case that we got it divided into two pentagons and two triangles with apex angle 72 degrees such that we can find the electric field due to the triangles easily as the 72 divides 360 and five such triangles around a point will give us a plane so basically uh, we have used the same idea as in first problem only the that the in the first problem the apex angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees so we needed six such triangles and here it's 72 degrees so it will need five such triangles and hence the electric field due to one uh, isosceles triangle one of these two uh, comes out to be e naught by five 
and you can do it uh, more generally you can consider the electric field p- proportional to the apex angle of the f- uh, shape and so so th- uh, this comes from that uh, flux uh, this comes that from the logic that the flux is proportional to the a- angle and you can th- uh, think more over it but uh, i have just solved it here in this way so uh, and assuming the electric field due to the pentagon to be e uh, at the corner and uh, as we know th- that that of the uh, triangle plate it is e not by 5 and all of them are in the same direction so they must add up to give e not so now uh, solving this gives us the value of e to be 3 not by f- 10 so this was one way to tackle the problem another way uh, is this time let's not worry about the overlapping and let's just try to cover the whole 360 degrees or some multiple of it by pentagons so basically what i have said here is that uh, some multiple of 108 equals some multiple some other multiple of 360 degrees so smallest mn pair satisfying this condition is 10 comma 3 uh, you can uh, uh, see this yourself so basically what i'm saying here is that uh, we can consider the positive and negative layers each three layers thick because uh, n comes out to be 3 so basically we are stacking uh, the t- uh, pentagons and uh, uh three layers have formed uh, three layers of 360 degree have formed so basically there are three la- we can consider the original layer to be consisting of three layers with one third cha- charge density and the, of the original layer uh, so basically each small pentagon is considered uh pentagon considered will have one third the charge density so this is also one way to think of it so uh, now there are as there are 10 pentagons involved uh and as uh, 108 times 10 uh, is equal to 368 times 3 so electric field due to each small pentagon will be e naught by 10 because the o- e no- electric field there was e naught and there are 10 equivalent pentagons so it will be e naught by 10 but as we had considered this, this small pentagon to be only having one third the charge density the electric field due to the original pentagon at the midpoint uh, of its corner will be thrice of its value because uh, as i said there will be three layers so each will be of sigma by 3 sigma by 3 and sigma by 3 charge density so the electric field uh, we get again from here the same value of 3 not by 10 so that's the answer for the second part so now uh, we can generalize this again to an n-sided polygon just like we did here 108m equals to 360 times n we can do it for any general polygon and uh, we can uh, write the ang- angle uh, of the polygon which will be n minus 2 times pi by n uh, times some multiple p uh, times some number integer p should be equals to 2 pi times some integer q where 2 pi is equals to 360 degree and angle ang- around or uh, around 360 degree so uh, and uh, dude and uh, we can see from here that p pen- p n sided polygons will be u- used and q layers will be formed so the electric field due to each small n sided polygon will be e naught by p and uh, again as the layer will be divided into q parts the charge density of each part will be uh, q uh, we, we will have to take it q times so the electric field uh, at the corner will be e naught times q by p and we can get the ratio of q by p from this equation here so uh, and substituting it finally we get the value of e equals to e naught times n minus 2 by 2n so yeah that's a general idea and uh, hope you all like the video So please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.